Time to get ready to heat the house this winter. Good morning, guys. It's Katie Kate on the homestead. A quiet, peaceful morning here. Cool temperatures. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely my favorite time of year. Two nights, no rat. It does look like there's been activity, but the trap has not been trapped. We moved it directly in front of the hole last night. Still nothing this morning. I'm gonna keep it there. Makes me think there must be another hole in here somewhere. So tonight I will probably put a trap back behind that board just in case that's his entry point. Based on the weather, I think we're probably going to have an early winter. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully we have a really cold winter to really kill off some of these bugs that we've been dealing with this year. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning. Today's firewood day. So my guy is bringing 20 cords of wood unsplit. We're going to be stacking them just like I did last year. I have the base log still in place so he can just uh, go ahead and start loading right onto that. So that's exciting. This is the wood inventory that I currently have. I would say I probably have about five cords. So that'll give me a total of about 25. Hopefully I only need to burn 10 or 15. I'm getting much more efficient running my wood stove and my fireplace in tandem. So I will be splitting wood for the foreseeable future. That'll be my really next big chore that I'm gonna have to plug away at to try to fill this shed to the brim. I've been catching these dingbats on the other side of my house, eating the sunflowers that are turning to seed. So I'm going to plant a bunch of sunflowers outside the chicken coop next season. And for now, I just have to shoo them away because they enter the proximity of my dogs and that is not going to be good. Hey, Bonesy. Okay, well, the guy's here with the wood. I told him twice in text message that I needed wood cut last year because I need it to be dry so I can burn it this year. But he showed up with a load that was just cut, which is a little annoying, but he's such a nice guy. And it's just gonna put more of a sense of urgency on me to get it cut and split faster so that I have more time for it to dry. I do have that five cords from last winter that I can get started with when it gets colder, but uh, anyway, let's go watch him unload it. It is pretty cool to watch him use a crane to stack all the logs.
I kind of forgot how big a load is. That's a lot of wood. I did ask him for logs that weren't too big around, just reminding him that I am a small, older lady who's gonna be splitting these. And I actually think pound for pound, you get a little bit more when the pieces are smaller. Last grab, I think. God, the mosquitoes are flipping terrible. The weather was starting to look a little strange. Something blowing through just to the south of me. The mosquitoes are so bad. I just want to take one little walk around, check in on everything. That's a lot of wood. These guys are okay. I gave them fresh bedding yesterday. Hey guys. I'm looking for my dang chickens. I'm always looking for those guys. Oh, heard something. Let's go see. Hey Bonesy, you are not supposed to be over here. Can you go home, please? I have to shoot him out of here. Look at these dingbats. Oh my goodness. Guys, get out of there. Oh my gosh, guys, get out of there. Look at them all. You are coming into dog territory, birds. And there they all go. Come on, guys. You're out of control. You can't blame them. They don't understand. They want to go all up in that tree and that brush. I just don't want a dog to get them. Stewie, keep the girls over here. Come on, you dingbats. Come on. Yeah, that's good boys. Come on. They think I have food, but I don't. Yeah, I tricked you. Don't follow me anymore now. I want to let the dog out, so I want to know where they are. All right, that's safe. Okay, guys, well, that's it for today. We've got firewood for winter, chickens running around, no rat in my trap, and way too many mosquitoes. So um, I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe, enjoying these cooler temperatures as much as I am. Until next time, happy, healthy living. I am Katie Kate, and I'll see you later.